nice and inviting and encouraging. That's really a big fact. With you know, we're trying our best, and he's just been very gracious. And like, that was good, good, you know. That, that helps a lot for me. Anyway. Yeah, I find it difficult. Um, I just have to read off of a teleprompter. I've never read a teleprompter before, and I've been doing TV for 20 years. It's so much different than what we do for a living, at least on TV. So, But I find it fascinating, I must say. Yeah. yeah. Well, and we're playing ourselves, so it's yeah. not, you know, it's not a stretch. It really make it, like, uh, more authentic and uh, resonates with you because there have been a few extremely talented um, announcers who have fallen. Who have fallen short. Or who I think this character's a little bit more over the top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, he's awesome. an extreme, but <laughs> yeah. I don't want to name any names. There have been some of my favorite, like football announcer, I will say, who was on TV for a very mm -hmm. long time with a problem with substance abuse or alcohol abuse. Um, yeah, I, I think that there's definitely a nugget of truth to the show, and, and the, it seems, at least it seems that we did pretty authentic, but it's also funny and over the top, whatever. So yeah. it works really well. It's, it's a really farce, well but you can, yeah, you can, you can envision it. You know, again, even just the way he has kind of the broadcastery voice and the whole thing. Right, it's an over the top version um, caricature, but not too far from the way we sound. Probably, <laughs> we've met a few guys like Jim in our time. Believe yeah. me. And we'll no. probably be like Jim when we get a little bit older. <laughs> <laughs> There's no secret society, though. Right. <laughs> Who's on your Matt Rushmore of uh, sports broadcasters? Mm. Vince Scully. Uh, yeah. Vince Scully is the greatest baseball broadcaster ever. Kurt Gowdy is on the top of my list because growing up, Kurt Gowdy did baseball, basketball, and football before any of you were even born, I'm sure. But I'm older than everyone. So he's right up there at the top. And Vince Scully is at the top on the baseball with Mount Rushmore for sure. I grew up in Canada, so some of the hockey announcers resonate. There was a guy named Danny Gallivan who was really big, Foster Hewitt, which is like before my time, there's some legendary hockey guy. I think Bob Costas is the best, is the standard, and I work with Bob, so he's terrific. But just his ability to do talk shows, um, do hosting, do play-by-play, -play, you know, he's been the cream of the crop for a long time. pink guy, too. Hmm? Pink guy, too. Yeah. He made it through pink guy. Oh, pink guy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> was he listening to the story? I had a pink guy. <laughs> <laughs> How much different is, like, the time, I know, like, as a broadcaster, you, you do what you need to do, and then you move on to the next thing. Like, how much is it different? kind of doing, saying the same thing over and over and having the same energy. Yeah, that is a skill because it's like when you're doing stand-ups, like I don't think you guys have done it, but I was like a news reporter, like when you're doing stand-ups and you, you know there's diminishing returns after a couple and you become sing-song like mm -hmm. Bill Murray and Groundhog Day, like which used to crack me up like the first time I saw that. Um, but yeah, so it is, it is tougher. But you, with this, I think you find you usually get a little better at it. Like, I read it over to my son, who uh, does acting, and he's 25, he's not like eight. So he's, uh, <laughs> um, I, I was doing lines with him, and you know, I stunk first, and then got a little bit better as we went along. So I think like, with this, you start to actually hit the words a little bit better the more that you do it. Experiences yeah. like these give you aspirations to go into a little bit more? It's too late for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play myself, I'm available, you know, I can play myself, but I don't know if I can do anything else. Oh, I was going to say that um, for, I agree with Brian on this. When you do stand-ups, and I've done a million stand-ups in the field, the goal is to get it over with as soon as possible. Because if you have to go more than two or three, you just want to shoot yourself. And this is different, though, because they're shooting it from like 20 different angles. I thought, well, we're done with this scene. And they say, no, we got to shoot it from over here. At least with a stand-up, well, what we do, they just shoot you on, and you're done in 30 seconds, hopefully, and then you go home. Yeah, it helps that there's a lot of energy, too. I feel like we feet off of each other. The scene that we just did was just banter, banter, banter. And it was well directed. It was like, do this, do that. And we were just in it. And so, you know, if you have four or five lines, as long as you can remember those, like the flow was, was good. I thought it was a, a good scene, actually. Great. I think we have one more, one time, one more question. Um, how many um, films have you guys been in? <laughs> this is it for me. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you've been in? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I thought, I thought you were in. I thought I'd you something. Yeah. Probably on TV. No. <laughs> yeah. Weren't you in something? I thought you were in something. Yeah. Weren't you in like yeah. Fever Pitch or something like that? Or some. Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you should look him up. I think he's been in a lot of films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in uh, Rocky Balboa. Okay. And I was in Resurrecting the Champ on a little screen where I did my thing at ESPN and then I went up on the screen. Okay. So that was fun. But it was fun. It was the, Rocky Balboa was the first. I was in Vegas for a fight. 
and there was shooting, and it was the first day of shooting for it, and Sly was directing. So to be around him for like two days was, was pretty cool. Uh, that's awesome. yeah. I acted in a film which is coming out called Spaceman, which is coming out in August. And uh, I'm from Montreal, and I'm a big fan of the baseball team that used to exist in Montreal. And they had me play a beat writer from 1982 in Montreal. So it was a huge character strip. <laughs> <laughs> and they dorked me up. They like did my hair, and they gave me like a nylon jacket and like a wide tie and stuff. It was great. The props were fun. Well, do you want to? Can you guys stay in the other for just a picture? If people want to grab that, then we'll hop back upstairs because they're still working. So yeah.